Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. Now in this video, I'll be building a very simple squirrel feeder. Now first thing, for the food reservoir for this feeder is just a standard one quart mason jar. Now in building this squirrel feeder, I'm using some cypress wood that I had left over from a previous project. Now let me also say that I wish the boards had been a little bit wider, but sometimes you just do what you do with what you have. And the first thing I did was cut the board down to size on the table saw. Now the feeder will have three holes in it, one that the mason jar goes into, and then two for the squirrels to go into. And to cut those holes, I just used the drill with a hole saw. Now, I didn't have a hole saw big enough where the mason jar would be able to fit into. So, I just took that to the spindle sander and I sanded the hole until it was the right size for the mason jar. And then it was just a matter of assembling the pieces. Now, I'm not using any fasteners putting this together. I'm just using glue and then clamping it nice and tight. And the glue that I'm using for this is Type-On 3 because it's water resistant. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have any squirrels inside the house that I'm feeding. So this feeder is gonna be outside. Now, just make sure you use a good amount of glue and then clamp it nice and tight. Now. If you want to use fasteners, you know, like screws, go right ahead. I just decided not to. Now, the way that this feeder is designed with a box for the squirrels to go into, and the way that those pieces interact with all the other pieces, I just felt that that's going to provide enough strength with just gluing and clamping it where fasteners were not needed. Let me just point this out. When I cut these pieces that are circled, I cut them at 10 degrees. That provides a slope for the roof and then yet yeah, everything fits nice and tight. Now for these other pieces that are circled, I cut those at 45 degrees. And those pieces are just to ensure that the mason jar doesn't fall out. Now it's time to just fill up the mason jar and I just use bird seed. The squirrels always seem to be getting into the bird feeder anyway, so I'm thinking that they like bird seed. Now that concludes the build of this squirrel feeder. And like I said, it's a real simple and easy build. The longest part of this build was waiting for the glue to dry. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.